Oh, let's get right into it today. Leafs get a one nothing, one nothing lead. It was great. William Nylander, great goal. Uh, as far as little spinorama pass, and it's great. It's one nothing. And then penalty trouble happens, and Kucherov happens, and that means bye bye Samsonov. Four shots, three goals against Kucherov from the right side. Rashad goal. Good little spot. Wish Samsonov had it. Kucherov one timer goal. Kucherov pass to, I don't even know what the guy's name is. Deflection, goal between his legs. And Samsonov's night is done. Three goals on four shots. And then Wall comes in, and he is a Wall. I love how Joseph Wall plays. He's so steady. He's so calm in there. And he had to be tonight because it was back and forth, back and forth. It was literally Leafs, Bolts, playoffs. And this was like their game seven or another game in the series. And just like every game in Tampa Bay, while well, the last three, this now four, Toronto wins. Toronto comes from behind. And in this case, wins again in overtime. No shootout today. No, a win in overtime. Okay, so they're down 3-1. They go into the third period, and they're, they're shots, 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 shots. Little John's just going nuts on it. So many chances, so many chances. And I was thinking, okay, they're going to score here. They're going to score there. Matthews has tons of chances. Marner, Nylander, Nyes, Tavares, everyone. Nothing's going in. And then all you hear is them talk about Max Domi. You know, he's not using his speed. He's not using his footwork. He's just throwing the puck away. He goes to dump it in. It goes the other way. He goes again. He goes, I'm going to keep it a little bit. I'm going to push it forward. And then he fires it over. Backhand, pass. Nyes gets it. Camp leaves it. Goes to Nyes. Snipes makes it 3 2. Domi and Nyes again from the other side. Domi feeds it to Nyes off his skate, down on one knee, scores, makes it 3 3. I thought it was going to be one of those games where another goalie who last game against the Leafs got shelved when he played for Colorado. I think they said he let in seven goals, maybe eight. I can't even remember. He was playing great. The Leafs put up 50 plus shots on the guy and they win 4 3 in overtime. Matthews almost ends it once, twice, three times. Marner does a little spinorama and gets a chance. Uh, before we even get into overtime, Kucherov almost ends it, but Wall was, oh, that glove. It was it was outstanding. It was it was exhilarating. I'm like, come on, Leafs, you can do it. And that's four times now, four times in a row, the Leafs beat the Tampa Bay Lightning in Tampa Bay. God, you're watching that game, and you're like, this is a series that everyone's going to love, and I wish it wasn't in the first round. I wish it was the conference final, which it'll never be. It won't be. <laughs> but anyway, I do think that last goal where Nylander sauced it over, who had a great game, by the way. Great game. I loved how they moved Nylander, Marner, and Matthews together. Every time they were on, out on the ice, it was it was attack, 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 and they were just all over the bolts. Now, to be fair, Stamkos' line had lots of chances. Kutrov, obviously. Um, so it went both ways. And then with the little adjustment of Nyes in with Domi, you got a little spark there with Camp as well. That worked out. And then obviously Yarncro playing with uh, Tavares and Bertuzzi. That worked. Bertuzzi even had a nice little move. But anyway, in overtime, Nylander, Sauce, Kucherov tries to get back. It tips off him. I think it hit off the shaft of Tavares' stick. Tavares points to Nylander. He thinks Nylander scores. I don't care. The Leafs win 4-3, and I'm so happy because the last two games have sucked. Actually, not, no game has really been great. There's just a lot of goals. But beating Tampa Bay in Tampa Bay, just beating Tampa Bay in general, but in Tampa Bay, being down 3-1, doing it again, and then he can just be, you know, give the big F you to uh, Sergeyev for everything he says. Sergeyev, you lost again. You lost again in overtime to Toronto at home, and you had a lead. I love it. This is this is just me going on about uh, Toronto beating Tampa Bay over and over and over again. Oh, it's good. It's good. What did you guys think of the game? It's nice to see Max Domi get some points. It's nice. Matthew Nyes gets his first regular season goal, then his second. Austin Matthews, just outstanding. No goals today, but God, he's on another level. He's on another level. You know, I think it was Sportsnet, maybe it was TSN. Could have been ESPN. Who knows? That ranked him like seventh in the NHL today. He, he took that personally. I think Jack Hughes might have taken his, uh, his spot personally too because he's playing amazing. Marner looked good. Everyone did. Everyone did. Defensively, I was a little bit shocked that Klingberg was there for three on three, but I guess they're like, let's just try to score. And who who does it? Uh, Klingberg feeds it up to Nylander, who then gets it over to Tavares, and one of them scored. Um, 
Defensively, there's still some issues. Obviously, lots of penalties. The Lilligren and McCabe pairing was ooh, um, but Morgan Riley was outstanding again. Uh, it was like playoff. Riley has come over to the regular season, which I love. Uh, Samsonov, I'm not going to blame him. I wish he would have had that first goal. Second goal, good luck. Third goal, good luck. It was just one of those things like we need to make a change. It's three goals on four shots, and it worked, and Joseph Wall played great. That's why, you know, this is going to be kind of like a 50-50 split, if, if I'm honest with you. By the end, 60-40 Samsonov, maybe, but I think Joseph Wall does become the starter eventually, which I think that's always been in the least plans. But no Fraser Minton today. He's going to go back to the WHL and let him do what Easton Cowan's doing. Let him dominate. Let him develop. And then gradually bring him in. Gosh, that feels good. That was good. My wife came in and... When Nye's got his second goal, I was laying on the couch and like, I think I was like running in the air, like laying down. It was like I was, you know, doing horizontal running when uh, Nye scored. She made me laugh. Uh, but uh, yeah, I should have got that one on video. Yeah. Wow. I, I tried to make her stay and then there was too many, too many chances and she was just like, oh, I'm overwhelmed. No, not really. She was just like, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I can't handle you. But Leafs handled the bolts. They win 4-3 in OT in Game 5. They're now 3-2. and two. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. Take care, everyone. Have a great weekend. Go Leafs, go.